I'm Joseph Miller, and behind me is my 2021 Colorado ZR2 Bison Edition. Let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna start at the front of the truck and then kind of work our way back, go into the camper, check out what I have in there, and then finish off with the interior. So to start, let's talk about the bumper on the front of the truck. Uh, this is something I get asked about quite a bit. It's a relentless fabrication hybrid bumper for Colorado. Um, their wait times are about five months. Absolutely love the way it looks. I think it's the best bumper that anybody makes for Colorados and it was well worth the wait. Also have a relentless bumper in the rear. We'll get to that, but just love the way it looks. I love how aggressive it is. I love, it shows the front suspension um, and you can throw a winch in it. So it's a great bumper. So inside this bumper, I have mounted a Warren Evo 10S. Um, and then for the lights on the front, I have a 30 inch Baja Designs S8 light bar, as well as two Squadron Pros and two S2 pods. Um, I decided to go with all amber. I love the way it looks. There's not much else to it. I just think it looks great with the tan. Two most asked questions um, I get in my Instagram DMs. Uh, let's talk about the two antennas on the front and the headlights that I'm running. So to start, uh, the headlights are from Colorado Canyon Enthusiasts. They're an awesome company, make sure to check them out. Um, the headlights are sequential and I personally, personally think they're the best looking headlights for Colorados. Now I do get asked a lot about the antennas. People ask where I got them or uh, why I have two. Um, so the answer for that is one is for GMRS and one is for ham. I go out with some people that run ham. I go out with some people that run GMRS. Um, they're great. They're from Alamosa, Alamosa Antennas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but yeah, they're a sweet company. Um, I've always just loved the way that like super big antennas look, especially on like Australian trucks. So I just like, I think it's unique and I think it adds a little hint of Australia and I think it'd be awesome to go wheel there someday so yeah also something to mention about these antennas is they are not just for looks last time I went out I left a little bit early and I was communicating with people back at camp for probably up to 35 miles I was on the highway they were all the way back at camp and it was pretty impressive all right so let's talk suspension up in the front so up here um, I'm running King Coilovers. I got them from Colorado Canyon Enthusiasts. Um, and then for upper control arms, I'm running CWF Off-Road. Next, one of my favorite additions to the truck, also the newest mod are my SSW Off-Road wheels. Um, I was running Methods before these and I just kind of got sick of them. I feel like everybody runs them. Not to say they aren't a great, great wheel. Bead grip technology was awesome. I ran those at super low PSI and never had a problem, but I really dig the look of these new wheels and I think they're super unique. Another question I get asked a lot is tire size. These are 35s um, and I do have the AEV Highmark fender flares to fit them, which I probably wouldn't do those again if I were to do it over again. I just had a friend fit 35s just by cutting and I think that's a good way to save some money and I think it looks really good too. So so moving to the back, um, I have a AEV snorkel. I think the thing's sick. It makes sweet noises with the diesel engine. Um, kind of sounds like a blow off valve. Next little touch I have is just these American flags from Tactilian USA. It's one of the first things I put on my truck. Um, I think it gets overlooked a lot, but I think it's a great touch and I think it looks sick. So also something to mention that I'm not going to go into depth in is just inside the engine bay. Um, but in there, I do have a dual battery setup that powers the fridge and the lights on the GFC that you'll see in a second. And then I also have an ARB air compressor. All right. Now moving to the back of the truck, we have the obvious, my favorite mod personally, the GFC. Um, Mounted to the side, I have an Expedition Essentials recovery board mount. And let me say that these Max Tracks are my favorite piece of recovery equipment. 
I've seen them pull things out when we couldn't winch out, and I genuinely think that... I think if I didn't have anything else, if I didn't have a winch, nothing, if I was starting, I would probably start with Max Tracks. Now, moving down a little bit, uh, you will see the bumper. This is a relentless high clearance rear bumper with a swing out tire carrier, as well as a drop down camp table. Um, I absolutely love this thing. I waited six months for this bumper. Uh, I would definitely consider going with our non high clearance version. However, I've had some situations where I did need the high clearance and it's been really nice that I didn't bang up the rear of my truck. Also something to note, I have full AEV skid plates underneath. It comes stock with a bison package. Um, so that's a nice addition, super nice. Currently not running a skid plate in the front. I need to get one, but the bison bumper, the stock bison bumper doesn't fit with the relentless uh, hybrid bumper. So if anybody knows any good skid plates, let me know. Now on the rear of the GFC, I have mounted two S1s. They're super nice just for camp lights for the drop down camp table or even as chase lights. Uh, I use them as both equally. So yeah, they're super nice. I have one amber and one clear. All right, now moving into the back of the GFC. I have the ARB fridge um, with an ARB slide. And then I have that wired to a switch just because I'm an idiot and I would always leave my fridge in and then it would completely drain my battery. So I have that switch in there. If I know I'm gonna leave my truck parked for a long period of time, then I'll just turn it off. So that's super nice. Um, under the ARB fridge, uh, I have my drawer system. Um, I made it with my grandpa. I did look at some deck systems, um, but they're really expensive and I didn't want the entire bed to be covered. I just wanted the half and it didn't make a lot of sense to buy a $1,500 drawer system just to cut it up. So me and my grandpa uh, built this and it costs like $170 and it's exactly what I want. Uh, and it's awesome, I love it. Works beautifully. Um, so yeah, that's pretty sweet. Definitely gonna keep that in there. Now, moving on to the other side of the GFC, uh, I have a switch that turns on and off the lights in the GFC. And these things are game changers. Uh, I have some up inside the GFC too, and it's from Matt Gecko Lights. One of the best additions to the GFC that I've done, I mean, it's so nice just not having to, you know, have a lamp or whatever around camp. And they're bright enough that when I go cabana mode in the GFC, it just lights up camp and they're amazing. Especially just up top, I can use it as a nightlight or whatever and they're on separate switches. So I don't have to crawl up or down to turn one of them off. Side note on the lights too, um, I believe Matt Gecko lights, they have like different options. I think they have a dimmable one and then they have one that can do red lights as well. I just went with the on off bright light um, and I like it. It's perfect for me. So yeah. Now talking about the upper section and the GFC, I have the lights up there obviously and then I also have an Overland Beds um, mattress upgrade. That's my real one complaint about the Go Fast is that the stock mattress was just awful. I could not sleep in it. Um, so that's a memory foam upgrade and it's been awesome. I've absolutely loved, loved it. It's, it's made sleeping and just camping in general so much better. Um, so for the interior, I have all my patches mounted up onto the headliner and then in the middle of them, I have my Switch Pro. Side note, I'll just say I'm a fan of Switch Pro. After a year and a half of ownership, my Switch stopped working and I sent it back to them and they warrantied it, no questions asked. Um, and I even have like special stickers and since they had to send me a new panel, they put all uh, new stickers onto that panel in the same order they were on. Not something I have to do, um, but I definitely will be buying a Switch Pro again. On my dash, I have an Expedition Essentials dash mount. Um, this thing's absolutely nails. I think it's like one of the first things I did to my truck and it's amazing. Uh, I have both of my radios mounted on it. Um, there's a spot for my Garmin Overlander and then a place where I can put my phone as well. Um, and I absolutely love that thing. Um, for radios, I'm running an MXT 575 um, 
and then a Yesu. I'm not sure on the exact model of the Yesu, uh, but they're great. I love them. Uh, obviously, they're running to the antennas on the front, and they're great radios. I absolutely would recommend it, especially that Midland radio. The range is absolutely unbelievable. It's awesome. So I think that's it for the build walk around. Like I said, consider subscribing, consider dropping a like, maybe go follow my Instagram if you're new here, or even just let me guys know if you'd want to see more videos of the rig. Um, I go out quite a bit and I'd be happy to make some videos about it. So yeah, thanks for watching.